Broadcasting. Hey, we're back. And what happened? Well, I thought it was going to happen. I got kicked trying to change games. Hopefully everyone hasn't run away. Please come back. Please come back. If my dashboard preview to sort of load up. And do fibbage though. We're going to do some fibbage. Fibbage is awesome. Those who haven't done fibbage, you are going to get a statement on your phone. You need to type in an answer. But the answer needs to be such a convincing lie that everyone thinks it's true. And be aware that, uh, yeah, adult content incoming. <laughs> Not as bad as Quiplash. Not as bad as Quiplash. So, everyone get the, uh, the room codes in. Oh, still here. Thank you very much for sticking around. Yeah. Any <laughs> more spaces for anyone who wants to play? Lizzy, you coming? Lizzy's in, I think. She's in the Hell's Bells. Oh, no. Yep, all three spots. Mark is above and Lezzy stink. Yep, they are <laughs> absolutely both in. Anyone else who wants to join in will be, is, be a part of the audience and you can vote on your favourite answers. Coming! Hi, I'm Cookie, and if you're here about the puppies, I gave them all away. I want yeah. puppies. But since you're here, why not play some fibbage? <laughs> all right, a full fibbage fun fest. Fantastic. Fabulous. Uh, F words. F words. Uh, <laughs> no. Can't think of any more F words. <laughs> oh, well, have a good time. Oh, and uh, anyone else can get in and join the audience. Yeah, you can play along for your own personal score, and you can like your favorite lies. Let's do this. <laughs> this is round one. You'll get 500 points for everyone this game you rule, and you'll get 1,000 for finding the truth. And you've got a helper, the defibrillator. It eliminates all but one lie. Only one use per game, so use it wisely. Well, I've said this a couple times already, but thank you so much everyone for hanging out tonight. Hope you're having a good time. I can definitely see myself doing okay, this more. here's your first question. I'm a diver. Fashion George's designer story. Pamela Paquin's company specializes in producing ethical fashion accessories made from blank. Now, use your device to enter a bluff that you think will fool the other players into thinking it's true. If you can't think of anything in time, use the Lie For Me button for half the points. Do it now! Wow, people getting their lies in quick. <laughs> I like that. Okay, Boy. there are your choices. Find oh, the yes. 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 Where are the points? Me with some points! Hey, I'm not bad. And it was also... Oh, that's a mark is a bum. Great minds think alike. Wow, Lizzie. Oh, that was Bell's cracking answer. Oh, Linus has just scooped up all the nice points. Slide. It's gonna be roadkill, isn't it? Uh, Lizzie stinks with a thousand points. 
Here's something you might be interested in. Yeah. Oh, that kill. That makes it's a great sad. idea, but apparently sales are pretty flat. Hey yo. And hey -o. that's it. Nobody else's lives got picked. I mess with the early days. All right, pick a category. We see with the category. Well, we ain't waiting forever. Okay, here's the question. Because it would only lead to teasing or disparaging thoughts, a French judge ruled in 2014 that a couple could not name their newborn child blank. Enter your lies now. Okay, here are your choices. Chuckles, Lola, IT, Jesus, Asswipe, Britain, Benny Taylor, Selfie, and Imagine somebody trying to call their child. Pretty much any of us. Who will call their child? Ask why. Okay, let's take a look. Maybe not. Chuck. Hello, Mark. Bells. Oh, my lie getting some points on the board. It was Nutella. Ah, the judge made the right call. If you allow one kid to be named Nutella, the name will just spread. <laughs> <laughs> and that means... Ooh, fuck in the lead. Time to pick a category. Fuck, you are up. Okay, here's the question. The governor of Phnom Penh, Cambodia, upset more than a few of his constituents in September of 2003 when he encouraged them to blank. Uh, write your lies now. Okay, <laughs> please make it as rude as you want. Alright, oh, someone didn't get him. Okay, fine. So we've got hot, eat, bathe regularly, vandalize public property, sleep with their neighbors, smoke cocaine, eat poor dog, poor dog, worship Satan, and eat out. Okay, what did everyone pick? It was not snort cocaine. Uh, Actually, it didn't hit that. I don't think it'd be upset. Oh! Four points for me! Always oh, with a thousand. Oh, I'm got it. Well, don't you feel foolish? <gasps> no! He was attempting to decrease upset. the number of strays. I guess he believed you really could eat away your troubles. And that's it. Ooh. 
Ooh, I'm into second. This is oh, two, points. which means all point values are doubled. And don't let that defibrillator sit unused. It disappears after round two. Select the category. Okay, here's the question. Let's take a road trip. According to a recent survey conducted by Professor Mark Miodovnik of University College London, your average British person has no clue how to properly blank. Type in your lies now. Single cell man, how's it going? Positive oh, stream. Hurry, hit the live for me button if you can't think of something. Uh, well, Cass, this is my first stream, but done with a okay, camera. Where's the truth? Apologies for any uh, breaks in speaking. I don't know how to properly tie a tie, make tea, point north on the compass, understand Brexit, masturbate, have a conversation, wipe their arse, impolitely excuse themselves, and said all of those of a straight face. To make tea is clearly alive. Is there any question? I'm off coffee. All right, let's see what everybody picked. Let's just give uh, give more points to Mark because he clearly needed. Bus, more points for me. Minus with a good fly. the points and look what we have here it oh, is make tea it's frustrating yeah, when one of the bit, only so. two or three things i know about a country turns out to be untrue and nobody picked any of these other lies first place Alright, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. A prank that went unnoticed for a month, a man photoshopped himself into several Grammy Museum photos, including a pic with Rihanna where he's posing with a blank. Input your lies now. Truth. A teapot, blow up doll, miniature figure of her, pineapple, banana phone, cardboard cutout of piano, taco, prostitute for a bucket. All right, who picked a watch? Give me those points! Okay, that was a whopper. And I'll just give more, more points. I think I've given like all my points to Mark so far. Fuck off. And nobody picked the other lies up there. I'm way in the lead now. 
Hospital. I think this threw a couple more rounds. Time to pick a category. Hello, Doc. Okay, here's the question. In June of 2010, a student in Germany had the audacity to drive up to his local Hells Angels clubhouse where he proceeded to drop his shorts and throw blank at the members. Type in your lies now. Okay, there's a truth out there. Find it. Uh, somebody wrote it. Somebody wrote it. Up your shorts and throw a puppy, white cheeked poop, oregano, or oregano, ping pong balls, soap, tootsie rolls, Cheerios. Not disappointing me, chat. That's good. Okay, what did everyone pick? Yeah, let's see, how much did he actually have to throw? Oh, it took some Oh my word, Mark is just fibbing there. Cleaned up. And you all missed it. Oh. A puppy. That's not even the full story. The nude puppy throwing man then escaped the scene on a bulldozer. Can you believe that? He stole a bulldozer. And the rest of these lies didn't fool a soul. I wanna go chop off his tootsie roll. Mark's closed the gap. I got no points. Oh, I like them. Here we go. Final fibbage. You're about to enter the final fibbage. Just one final question, and it's worth triple. Good luck. And now, your final fibbage question. The name of the app made by Holodog that helps dogs find other dogs. Enter your lies now. Okay, here we go. 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 Here dog, go. Here we go. Here dog, go. Here hound, go. Here we 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 go. Let's see what everybody selected. At least I didn't give it to Mark this time. Sarah does give her points to Lizzie. Oh, Mark, I'm picking up. <laughs> and nobody fell for some of these scary. ingenious lies. But they made an app for a dog to find another dog. It was as bad as that telephone that dogs can use to call their own. <laughs> 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 
Oh, I lost it right at the end. Well done, Mark. Congratulations. Fun's cut. This is the real one. 16 likes is me. Right, guys, we're going to have one more game. Uh, we'll play a game with new players, just so other people get in if they want to. And then we're going to have, yeah, we're going to have one last game of Fibbage, then we're going to play one round of Quiplash, and then we'll uh, end the stream there. So, everyone get your room codes in. Go on again. Hi, I'm your host, Cookie Masterson, and I love I the learning and then forgetting your names. Impressive, a completely full room of eight people. What is this, a Hoobastank concert? Oh, and anyone else who wants to get in can be in the audience. You can play along for your own personal score and vote for your favorite lies. Let's do this. <laughs> Round one. This is round one, and that means you get 500 points for everyone you fool with your made-up answer. And you'll get a thousand for finding the truth. And everyone gets a defibrillator, which removes all but two answers on any question. Save it for a tough one. Select a category. Okay, here's your first question. The first Saturday of May is officially World Naked Blank Day. Write your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth? First of all, the Actually, world naked grannies, water skiing, sausage, corn, naked corn. My butt, old man balls, gardening, and fun. What naked, what? Uh, I'm just checking something because. Uh, about a donation. I have okay, a feeling that this donation is not going to stay in my account long. Uh, Oh, sorry, I was, uh... Motivation, I How did that seriously miss out? It makes self-fertilizing your garden that much easier. Shout out to Hamsterlars, who, according to my chat, has donated... Let's say $10. That's epic. Very much, mate. That would be very, very much appreciated. Thank you. Very, very kind. I don't have any alerts at the moment because I'm using the uh, Xbox One. Uh, ah, oh, well, I've got to choose something. Yep. Oh, yeah, go for that one. Okay, here's the question. Uh, yeah, this is actually my first stream happening, so by the chat. I'm in Muskogee, the, uh, Oklahoma, lost his nipple of head of when blank. Type in your uh, well, the chat's now. Pretty, pretty quiet. Uh, first time streamer, still building things up. That's uh, probably why I'm making a lot of mistakes. 
Uh, thank you for being here. Welcome to the stream. I am now struggling to type. Uh, hurry up! Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Okay, take a look and find the truth. Then, finding a fish, his wife bit it off, oh. a violent cackle of sheep, his woman bit it off, he shot it off, he fell on a dog, got spilled over a bag of peanuts, a zebra bit it off, and he looked left. Then the thing he bit it off. What fight for the school? <laughs> Alright, let's see what everybody picked. I saw this thing after Hey! <laughs> that was a great Hello. life. That was mine. I lost some points. That was a big one. Yes, well on yellow, though. You couldn't have just had your nipple bitten off by a plain old horse, Leonard, over cash. You just had to get fancy. And the rest of the board goes unselected. Go for the wife joke. Ah, Sarah, where right. likes. Good category. Find us with the dust we put. Trees! Time for a road trip. Let's take a road trip. While in Milltown, Indiana, make sure you visit their famous tree, which is covered in blank. Input your lies now. Official on this one. Yeah. Still learning this tweet. That's over the Hurry! Hit the the button if you can't think of something. Oh, that's it. Okay, which one's the truth? Come on, guys. Love it in. Yes. Okay, we'll go with that one. Borrow this from Florida. Booger dollars. It's not one. Black shoes, shoes, black. Yeah, so I knew someone was going to put black then. Syrup. Cheese. Let's see what everybody selected. called the shoe tree. You can tell spring is here when the shoe tree blooms with the new LeBrons. And these incredible bluffs somehow went unselected. Had the yellow duck in the lead. I'm down in... Wow. Down now it's round two, where all point values are doubled. And remember to use your defibrillator if you need a little jolt of help. Use it in round two or lose it. Select the category. Epic. Okay, here's the question. The Australian Busted. Broadcasting Company banned an episode of the popular children's series Peppa Pig because it sent the message that blank were not to be feared. Enter your lies now. Oh! 
achievement. Oh, it's a lie that's actually the truth. Awesome, thank you very much to whoever that was. You just got me an achievement. See, right, see this is see, you've now discovered my cunning plan of why I do these No! Someone did it! Girls, talking zebras, Muslims, Max, mm. insect stranger, drunk Australians, spiders, and terrorists. Alright, chat, I think we're getting a little bit too close to the line here. Okay, what did everyone pick? That's an L spells. How was it not strange? And it was also Linus as well getting the points. That was weird. Fighters. Nobody tell them they about found Charlotte's pick web. Because they sent the message that spiders will not be some picked. Of these didn't get picked. Because actually they do have spiders that can kill you in Australia. Yes, they have lots of spiders. They have lots of things. Everything can kill you in Australia. Birds, sharks, bees, bugs, snakes. Time to pick a cat. Hello, Dr. Joyce. Okay, here's the Ooh, a sectomy. In 2008, <laughs> in Shivpuri, India, an incentive was introduced in order to entice men to get a vasectomy. In exchange for getting snipped, a man would be given blank. Input your lies now. Okay, where's the truth? We'll be given a new wife, a puppy, a gun license, a black man, a second wife, a goat, a very smart looking tie, a Big Mac, an egg donut. A egg donut. Egg donut. Egg donut. Yeah. How to make myself look an idiot. Alright, who picked what? You're mispronouncing answers. This is an absolute donut. Not like a bad. Yes! Somebody chose my answer! Thank you very much, Linus. Big Mac! Busy with the Big Mac. You can only shoot blanks, though. And the rest of the board goes unselected. <laughs> Took a second to get that. Select the category. Those bells are the choice. Dating. Hello. Okay, here's the question. Maddie Thomas started the odd and very specific dating site called Singles with Blank. Write your lies now. This is a dating site that's singles with blank, and the blank I think is pretty much covered now as you just go into the tight internet. Where you? A suggestion if you can't think of anything. 
Okay, here are your choices. Shingles. <laughs> shingles with very specific tingles. Shingles, ferrets, kids, amputation, parking spots, green gals, green gals, and allergies. Not with the world and the shared interests. Amputation. Oh, amputation. And food allergies. Very true. And kids. I was going on the camera. Wait, I gotta see my though, I've got to stop the camera. Okay, let's take a look. Let's just... Jingles! Linus is lie. And it was also... Oh, Tina, my lie as well. Thank you very much, Mark, for the points. And Linus, great mind sinking a lie. Also... Oh, and Lizzie as well. Wow, some kind of a mind meld there. Very specific tingles. <gasps> Parks lie. The poop. Parking spots. <laughs> Out to the lost points. Tingles with kids. <laughs> Sarah picking up the points. Amputations is. Wrong answer, yellow duck rolling in the point. The food allergies. Yay! You can search by age, marital status, and proximity to an emergency room. <laughs> and that's it. Oh, I'm up to Beth. Liz is, a, Liz is a poop. Linus. Is it Linus or Linus? Linus? Points off. Final fibbage. Welcome to the final fibbage. This is your this final is question, list. and it's worth triple. It's anybody's game. Take a look at your final fibbage question. The unusual thing that jazz musician Bill Wharton is known for having on stage during his concerts. Type in your lies now. Going for it. Just gonna have some fun with this. Going with my standard answer. Hurry, hit the line for me, buddy. But here first, trap. I was getting tipsy. That's a reminder. Okay, there's. there's a truth out there. Find it. Now, for having stage during his concert, belly dancer, Otto Gombo, his mother's ghost. Pouring of a perfect serve, prostitute, easy bake oven, Hilda, his wife, or a cactus called Larry. <laughs> Your heart's a Larry. Alright, who picked what? Yes! Thank you, sir. <laughs> Any dancers? Four points for Lizzie. That's called Larry. Woo! I think you get arrested if you have that prostitute on the concert. Pouring over a perfect circle. Shout out to Mark with the fly. I don't even know what Gumbo is. But that was least the truth. And that Teamwork means... going on. Both of them to get it right. Gumbo is, um... Uh, South um, African, um, like, curry. Mark! Well, this is a poop with the win. Congratulations, sir. You win absolutely nothing but the prestige of winning. And with nine likes, Sarah takes the thumbs cut. Woohoo! Right, guys, as I said, we're going to have one game of Quiplash just to round the stream off. I don't actually know what's going on. Oh, it seems to be refreshing. Here we go. So, quick flash, similar to Fibbage. I'm going to get a statement. you just got to type in any answer. Points are awarded for the most likes. So, everyone else needs to vote on their favourite answer. And whoever gets the most points... 
that particular round. Boy, there I am. Come on, else bars, oh, I'll see you loose. Oh, I'm forgetting in twice. I did how that happened. Everyone else, extra players, join the audience. Your votes do count towards getting who the winner is. Hello there, welcome aboard. My name is Schmitty, and I'll be your host today. We know you have many choices when it comes to games, and we're happy you chose Quiplash. Oh, this is gonna be fun. And if it's not, it's your fault. Let's do it. Remember, anybody can join the audience at any point during the game. This is round one. You'll get two prompts on your device. Just answer them however you want. Your responses, or quips, will be pitted against someone else's, and everyone will vote on their favorite. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. Oh, no! Um... Out to the four people in the audience. As I said, audience members, your votes do count. Votes. Vote for me. That's an achievement. There we go. Okay, it's time for some quip lashing. What we got? Starting things off, a good use for toenail clippings. Uh, holding okay, material for Tooth Fairy's neighbor, or melting them down and using them as a dildo. Ew! Uh, once again, chat, not letting me down. Sarah, the Audience members swinging that Next one. If you were allowed to name someone else's baby any weird thing you wanted, <laughs> what would you name it? It's voting Pikachu done. Pikachu Twines or Poodle. Dangerous playing this game at all. One or more people to be drinking. Going with the Hodor, but not enough to swing it. CT11 on one with the win. I have no idea what any of that means, but fair play. Sir. And next, the dumbest person in the history of all time. Fiddler. Time well, the man who invented life. <laughs> I guess, depending on your beliefs, that would be God. Not the God. House Bowers is straight up putting Hitler. Our audience is split. Next up, you should always wear a helmet when blank. <gasps> should always wear a helmet when visiting the mother in law or masturbating. I don't know how you do it. Superman. Yeah, I probably, probably would want to. Really, Mary. My mom's lovely. Okay, next one. 
An unusual object to bludgeon someone to death with. Now for summon, it's stealing time. their shoe. This doesn't make sense! Rainbow doesn't have gold at the end of it. Instead, it has blank. Time to Two vote. pots of gold or a slut. <laughs> oh, moisture. Oh. Oh, yeah. I like the CT mod one. Audience is split. Coming up next, it's disappointing to put together a 1,000 piece puzzle and realize it's just a picture of blank. Yeah, of a homeless person's it's testicle. 1,000 piece puzzle. Line for a joke that would make children cry. Santa isn't real. Yeah. Santa isn't real. Santa's bored. It had to be. It had to be that. Santa, it's Christmas in two months. You don't believe in Santa. You broke my dream. That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. Second place! Self second place in the front. It's time for Five. round two, Five. where all point values are doubled. That's right, doubled. My wife is a polygamist. Apologizing <laughs> for her answer. Um, not sure what to make of that. Ah, damn it. Let's take a look. The first prompt is Where do you think the beef really is? My husband's pants! Okay, voting time! Oh, God, also, regrets! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we have to 
I know why Sarah was apologising. <laughs> Why Sarah was apologizing. Next one. Invent a Christmas tradition sure to catch on. Christmas tradition sure to catch on. Watch you round the turkey for lighting the tree on fire. It's getting very late. For me, not putting an answer in on one. Next in line, the answer. celebrity you'd eat first if you were a cannibal, and the side dish you'd eat them with. Okay. Slap salad, Kim Kardashian, and that booty. Kim Kardashian is getting a bit of a beat. Next up, a good alternative for ping pong paddles. Uh, waffles or oh, times of oat. <laughs> Put it on my lacquer sensitive. I did no idea what would happen. I'll make good ping pong paddles or table tennis. Are they seriously? I like your answer. Waffles takes it. Who doesn't love waffles? Okay, next one. What John Goodman's belches smell like? Vote on your Regrets and heyday and the regret and day old hot dogs. Right, Mars bars. That's John Goodman. That's John Goodman. You come up with regret and dead old hot dogs. Drunk brain is further! Coming up next, something you should not put Doesn't in your I kid's sandbox. I come up with it. You insinuate that I'm not clever. Time to vote. Something you should not put in your kid's sandbox, cat shit or dog shit or both, and or herpes. Otherwise, you would not want to be a bad parent if you put any of that in. Equal matter. Where is he taking it? And next, the worst thing to find growing on your neck. Nah, I didn't answer this. <laughs> no, that's what else, Bells. I don't know. It could be a little bit good to go to the bathroom with a hand that up your pants. Okay, next one. Whoa. The name of a new game show that sounds terrible. Sausage fingers. Yeah. Round two is no more. Let's see the damage. I'd be more concerned about having like identical twin growing out of my neck. Oh my word, down to fifth. Sarah's still in the lead. Awesome. And now, last round, round three, the last lash. Point values are tripled, and you'll all be answering the same prompt this time. The last lash prompt is... What the hot trend in weddings will be in the year 2046?
right, here's the board. Okay, in round three, you get to the trendy weddings will be underwater, catapulting the newlyweds into the sunset, lasting longer than six months, same day divorce, <laughs> having sex instead of kissing the bride, Calvin Kellins, laser beams and holograms and future shit, and other bridesmaids. What's Calvin Kellins? Calvin Kellins' cousin. But we're having sex instead of kissing the bride, and that would have been very awkward. Yeah, I don't really want to have sex. <laughs> you just made it weird! Oh, Here we go, catapulting newlyweds into the sunset. Alright. <laughs> Underwater. Uh, Benjamin, I'm about to end the stream. Um, I'm getting quite tired. Uh, I will have a streaming scheduled up shortly. Uh, so I will... Oh, uh, and... Uh, the end, let's see the final scoreboard. So it was winning. Uh -huh. Mark is above. Lizzie, you have won! It is the winner. Well done, Lizzie. Thank you. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Um, I think that's been a success for my first stream. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you, everyone in chat, everyone for watching. Um, I think this is definitely something I'm going to be doing uh, sort of more often in the future once I get uh, get a proper schedule and uh, hopefully uh, we'll be playing more games. Uh, it is traditional to do a raid at the end of a stream. For those who don't know what a raid is, basically just go over to another Twitch streamer's chat, say hi, show them some love. Uh, chat, start show, I'm going to go over. Leah loves Chief, lovely streamer. Really, really nice girl. Go over there, show us some love. I will be back. Well, keep an eye out on the Facebook group. Go to Facebook. Go to Facebook. Go to Purely Casual Gaming. I'll put up on there when I'll be streaming. And then hopefully, once I've reviewed some stuff, I'll have a proper schedule. But thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Thank you, everyone, for being here. And enjoy the rest of your evening, rest of your day, whatever it is you're doing. Take care. Bye-bye.